Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio, and that's a 12 by 12 inch canvas. This was Artist Loft White with GAC 800 and Floetrol, and you can ask me for the recipe. And then I threw some house paint in there, and I'm not sure how I like it, but I haven't really tried it in a substantial amount enough doing a swipe or any variation on a bloom swipe so that I actually know. So I want to do that now. When I first started paint pouring in 2017, my mix was always half house paint, half artist loft with GAC 800, GAC 800 and Floetrol. GAC 800 by Golden. So I'm kind of thinking that if I have a decent enough, a somewhat heavy enough layer of paint around the edge and in the middle, then I should be able to flow paint. But I'm not sure until I try, so this is what I'm going to try. It looks like there's a bunch of bubbles in there, but I'm pretty sure as we work at this, they will come out. Scrape that off. That's my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Yeah, I don't need to save any of this paint. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with it. If, it. if I get it to work in some special way, I'll probably continue to do that. Use that recipe. I just want to get rid of those lines. And I think I can. And I'm going to continue with what I've been doing, a series of uh, stainless steel kitchen spatula swipes. And I, I'm not sure if I can do that with this or not, but I want to try. And I want to try and stay more in the center so when I tip, I spread my design out to the edge. So I'm going to start with golden maple. And I'm going to overlap some and not others. I have water lily ultra metallic prism pour. The, uh, Golden maple is a primary element. This is black iris. This is a prism pour. This is jasmine. Oh, it's pink diamond. Hang on, I'll get the jasmine. Let's give it a little shake. I want to use a little bit of Chantilly Lace. I'm not sure what it will do, if anything. Especially, well, I'm going to use Black Cell Activator. But I want to see what the Chantilly Lace will do in the middle. I've got African Violet, which is a fabulous color with these other colors. Wow, that's gorgeous. Now, there's a new Vivid Intense called Rouge Violet. And I thought it would go perfectly with the rest of these. And then I wanted to throw in a rogue element or two. A little periwinkle, Vivid Intense. And some saffron. Prism Pour, along with some Orange Crush. And do I want something else? I think I'm going to settle for what I've got. Although I do have some Vivid Intense Fluorescent Red Violet that has diamonds, Golden Diamonds uh, primary element in it. That's quite a bit of paint. It ought to be enough. Get a few things out of my way. Grab my spatula from my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula in the bucket. That's on my Amazon link. I think I mentioned that. So this is my longest and I have a few. So if I'm going to go from the right hand side and I'm going to use the gold. 
The gold is uh, Australian Floetrol, the same as the black is Amsterdam black with Australian Floetrol. Whoops. And the gold is Pebio Iridescent and Atelier Rich Gold. Trying to move slow. No idea how this is going to work out. But slow works better with cells. Obviously, it sells. I'm going to flip it around so that I get to scrape most of the paint right off on the canvas. And I mostly did. And I've got an edge catcher. I'm going to throw that right in the bucket. I've got an edge catcher. Where is it? Yes, I see it. Is it large enough? Yes, it is. Cool. Look at those cells. Woo! So, now, do I really want to get rid of anything? Not really. I wish I could leave it the way it is, but there's a lot of paint on there. There's not as much as there would be if I were doing an actual bloom. For those of you who wonder why I wear my bracelets, I like peeling paint off things. <laughs> Plain and simple. This might be plain and simple too. I might just stop early on. Looking for a thumb hold. I think I'm going to bring everything right back over. I wish I would leave more of this or the stripey paint that's not celled because I like the contrast. I've moved that over somewhat to the center. I could swipe again if I wanted to. It's tempting. I'd like to leave some negative space. I know I use Gak 800 by Golden to prevent crazing in my artwork, but um, I still don't have as much confidence as I'd like to have that I could leave my paint as heavy as I want to. So I am gonna, I'm gonna try it heavy. I know there's Gak 800 in there. I'll let everything go that way. I wish I had a second edge catcher because I'd like to stop this paint. There we go and move it back up. I'll just take the paint I had and move it back in too. Put it right into the composition. Why not? It went of its own accord. There's some fabulous cells in there. And like I said, part of me wants to uh, swipe again. And I might. I might take one of my little acetate tools, come right up here. I don't think I'll hurt anything by doing so. A little more black, a little more gold. Just want to make the design, the composition, a little more interesting than it was. And I'm hoping I haven't heard anything. And I might need to do something to my edges. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. 
This is confusing me because I thought I loved it and now I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I don't want to lose everything. And this didn't sell up like I wanted it to. So I'm wondering if I grab the jasmine or is it the pink diamond? I think it's the jasmine. And a little black. Just throw a completely rogue element in there. I kind of like that. Kind of like to do it again, actually. As much as I like black and white cells like these down here, they're not um, they're not so defined that I don't feel like I'm going to gain some ground by doing that. I don't want to do that with a different color. Should I do it a third place? That's the question. I'm being called over and over again in my head to something rogue. And that is, whoa, that was the blue velvet. But since it just leaked some very strong dye that I didn't mix in, I'm going to try it first. And I could tip that down a little bit. I could also bring back my edge catcher. That's not going anywhere fast. But I'm thinking of bringing all of this down here a little bit. So I just like the rogue elements and I'm not sure I'm done yet, but I'm very close. And I'm thinking black iris, but I want some um, some of the water lily first. So this is a, a combo bloom swipe, but I'm still not sure it's a bloom if I didn't use actual just plain old straight up house paint. Time for a straw. Now I've got one, two, three, four, so I kind of feel like I need a fifth one. And I'm still pretty happy with the idea of using some saffron. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think this time I'm just going to try my straw. A much more direct, controllable effect. I am being called still to more weird things, to, um, whoa, I'm having that same problem again. A little bit of sour lemon with orange crush in it. Just adding a little color to draw the eye around back and forth between the spots. here, a little there. I'm 
still being called to things and uh, that would be just a teeny tiny bit more of the saffron I'm not sure if it needs anything with it. Probably it doesn't. So I'm going to be very, very delicate with my addition of cell activator. there. Am I completely done? Evidently not. <laughs> I'm having one more flower right down here or whatever it is. A little bunch of cells. And I'm going to use some saffron down here as well. On either side. I'm not sure I've done anything quite exactly like this but that's always a good thing for me. And I really like the less predictable shapes. They don't have to be absolutely flower shaped to make me happy. But I am going to give myself a little more. I'm just going to keep going for it until I'm completely satisfied and that's unusual. Usually I think I have to stop at some point. And I know the black cell activator will work on the white paint. And I mostly want a black accent over there. And that was fun. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. I hope you come again. I post at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most days. And uh, I'm going to torch to release any bubbles caught in the paint. Cross your fingers for me that this, that this doesn't crack when it dries. Because I hope I had enough CAC 800 by Golden in it mi mixture. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. This was a total experiment. I'm going to be gone in a second too. Thank you guys for the donations through the uh, PayPal link underneath the video and thank you for joining the memberships. I really love this. <laughs> I hope it works as well as I'd like it to. I may wait on, on doing anything with my edges until after the video is over. I'm going to try and shimmer that at you because I'm going to assume there is some shimmer in there. I see one thing I want to change. Don't ask me why. Artists are funny. Let me see if I got a second left. So check my link tree if you want to. Ooh, look at the sparkle in there. And you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. You will also find... <laughs> uh, Society6, The Gallerist, uh, Pixels.com, Fine Art America. You can all have all of my designs reproduced and added to whatever merchandise those places sell. This is fun and funky. And I am so happy that you were here to see it. I hope you come again. If you have questions, questions are encouraged. So please ask questions. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I have 31 playlists with 100 videos you can watch right now. And everything's organized by topic and genre. I'm forgetting everything. My papering recipes below show more. I give lessons at the house in Springo, Florida, and I do sell my artwork. Uh, if you'd like to inquire, my email is EASPB, and the word gallery is spelled out at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I think this is going to disappear because it drew my eye down too much. Now I like it even better than I liked it a minute ago. Bye for now. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Priscilla out.
whatever I've forgotten you'll see in another video. Come back soon.